On the 8th of March 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 took off at 12.41 local time from Kuala Lumpur with a planned destination to Beijing, but the passenger jet carrying 239 people never arrived. The plane last communicated with Malaysian air traffic control 38 minutes after takeoff, when it was over the South China Sea and as it was entering Vietnamese airspace. Then the plane suddenly went silent and the plane's transponder was switched off. Malaysian military radar tracked the plane as it deviated from its planned flight path and flew southwest over the Malay Peninsula and then northwest over the Strait of Malacca. A satellite received hourly signals from Flight 370 and last detected the plane above the southern Indian Ocean. The plane had enough fuel to fly for seven and a half hours. Based on that information and analysis of the plane's final signals, the authorities had no choice but to conclude that the flight crashed in a remote part of the Indian Ocean. The mystery of what exactly happened to MH370 and its final location attracted worldwide attention and the multinational search for the missing plane became the most expensive search in the history of aviation. Ultimately, the search operation failed and was unable to locate MH370. During 2015 and 2016, pieces of debris washed ashore in the Western Indian Ocean and they were confirmed to have originated from MH370. The main theories as to what happened to MH370 are 1. It was a pilot suicide murder plot. This theory suggests that the plane's captain, 53-year-old Zahari Ahmed Shah, deliberately crashed the plane into the ocean. The deviated route taken by the plane the disabling of communication systems and the lack of any distress signal supports this theory. A few of Zahari's friends have reportedly said he was depressed and computer equipment seized from his home contained evidence suggesting Captain Zahari had used flight simulation software to prepare for diverting the aircraft. However, Zahari's family dispute that he had any mental health issues. He was a family man as well as an experienced and well-respected pilot. 2. It was the result of a mechanical failure. This theory suggests that a mechanical failure, such as a fire or explosion, caused the plane to crash, but the lack of debris from the plane suggests that it may have remained intact during its descent. 3. It was the result of human error. This theory suggests that the crew made an error that caused the plane to crash. This could include misreading instruments, miscommunication between crew members, or incorrect inputs into the flight computer, but there is no evidence to suggest any specific errors occurred. 4. Terrorism this theory suggests that the plane was hijacked by terrorists who intended to use it as a weapon. However, no group has claimed responsibility for the disappearance and there is no evidence of any terrorism-related activity on the flight. 5. Cyber attack This theory suggests that the plane's communication and control systems were hijacked by cyber criminals who caused the plane to crash. Each theory has its supporters and detractors and no definitive conclusion has been reached. In response to flight MH370's disappearance, there was an intensification of efforts to improve aviation safety and security with new standards for aircraft position reporting over open ocean introduced. Starting from 2020, new aircraft designs were required to have a means of recovering information on flight recorders before they sink into the water. The experience also led to a renewed focus on improving the capabilities of search and rescue operations.